Hello again. Well, former President Jacob Zuma is praising himself. He's highlighted five things he feels he did well during his presidency between 2009 and 2018. Now, this came out in a reality YouTube show, Zooming with the Zoomers. The highlights include the National Development Plan, Education, Rural Development, uh, dep uh, Distribution of ARVs and BRICS. Well, political analyst from the University of Advantistan, Sandile Swana, will uh, discuss with us this morning just how many of those he agrees with Sandile. Good morning, and thanks so much for your time. And I suppose the, the former president trying to stay relevant in a time, I suppose, uh, where our government is seeing much criticism and praise as well uh, at this time. Of those five points that, that we uh, mentioned or that he mentioned, which one are you likely to agree with the former president on uh, in terms of what he, he has done well with? I, I, unfortunately, I don't think that I, I can personally, in the list that he has given, mm. say that he, he has done well. What I can agree is that he has done them. Uh, but as to whether he has done them well, uh, I, I, I don't agree. Mm. Well, look, many might feel off that list there, Sandile, that maybe the most likely way we could agree with him is when it comes to ARVs and the distribution of ARVs. But that could be because we compare to, to, to the days of Thabo Mbeki and what we saw and many might describe as a, as a disaster of the handling of uh, HIV AIDS in the country. Yes, uh, he has been credited in many circles uh, for the rolling out of the mm. ARV program. Now, uh, I actually want to check other things. If you read literature, many articles, people writing even not even about health, writing about business and strategy, South Africa is quoted willy-nilly as the nation with the largest population of inf HIV-infected people. Uh, and then I also went to check what is the usage of condoms in South Africa, for instance? Mm -hmm. When we find nations that either sell condoms or use condoms, South Africa does not feature in the top 10. Now, what this tells me as a leader, uh, you cannot create a culture or allow a culture to persist and even exemplify that culture uh, whereby people don't use sexual protection and other things that are very relevant to HIV mm -hmm. and then say you have done well. Uh, I think there's a lot of other things other than the, a the ARVs themselves mm. that needed to have been done. We, thank we are very thankful that indeed ARVs were rolled out, but these things are also consuming a lot of our budget about something that by changing cultural behavior, health and safety practices and so on, we could have reduced the load on the national budget quite a lot. And Zuma was not exemplary in that regard. Mm. Uh, would you say, I mean, like, like I, I get from what you're saying, none of these things, you say he's done them. We can't say that he's done them well. If you had to pick anything else from his time as president or his leadership of the country, what would you say maybe he missed the point on that he could have highlighted that he actually did do well in this time, in this interview? I, I, I think that... Uh, there, there were people, black and white, when Zuma came on board, they thought that the stern, rigorous leadership of Tabombegi is going to be replaced by a friendly uh, leadership of Jacob Zuma, that is uh, people friendly, etc., etc. Uh, I think Zuma was trying to charm us all the way through, right down to the last minute. And there you can give him credit. Mm. And, and, and Sandile, if you have to look at this list of five, which would you say are the things that, he, that, 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 that we were worst off with under his leadership? If I look at it, I, I would even look at education and say that, uh, you know, for, for me, that stands out that, that as something of a disaster. But what would you uh, pinpoint? No, it is. It is indeed one of the areas where it was a disaster. Zuma talks about separating that he separated the, the basic education ministry from the higher education ministry now zuma does not tell us that when he and his cabinet were put by the anc into power what was the status what was the level of performance of education at that time basic education and tertiary education he does not say that he just says it was improved and then he said metric became predictable but i want to comment in more detail about this right now Today, major universities, whether it's UJ, whether it's UCT, etc., etc., 
have got additional programs, especially for black students. Because black students come to university and they are not coping with the level of education just to finish a basic degree. Mm -hmm. After six years, only 56% who started first year of a three-year degree, by the year six, only 56% have passed. In the first three years, 22% have passed. So our people do not cope with university. Uh, out of those who write metric, one in 25 passes maths at a level that can make them cope with university studies, or at least admitted into a degree that requires mathematics. What has also happened over time during the Zuma era, the pass rate for mathematics, I think it went down at some point to 20%, that even if you've got about 20%, you'll be promoted to the next grade. Um, so, and then another thing which was stated quite categorically by the former statistician general, Badi Lihulza, he said in South Africa, there is no youth development plan. So as a nation, as a cabinet, you need to be able to sit down and say, what type of 24-year-old I do I want to see? Meaning that by the time the mother is pregnant, you have a program of what to do. When the child goes to kindergarten, you have a program of so that the 24-year-old that you have is exactly what you wanted to have, and the mm. person can be an effective and productive citizen. Right. Under Zuma's right. presidency, that has not been attended to. It still has not been attended to right now, as we speak. All right, Sandile, thank you so much. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for, but I think it is clear, yes, just trying to stay relevant, but the former president praising himself on various fronts. Thanks.